excuse me, if I run, I've got to go to the butcher's. I'll get my ears boxed if I don't hurry. Yes, Mrs. Sharp. Shirley Temple, a beloved child star, was an obvious choice for the lead role. Her sunny disposition and undeniable charm made her perfect for the part of Sarah Crewe, a young girl who faces hardship with courage. Meanwhile, the role of Captain Crewe, Sarah's father, required a distinguished actor who could convey both warmth and strength. Richard Green, a relatively new face in Hollywood, was ultimately cast in the part. His chemistry with Temple was undeniable, and he brought a sense of nobility to the role. For the role of the stern and strict Miss Minchin, the filmmakers turned to Mary Nash. Known for her powerful stage presence, Nash was able to bring depth and complexity to the character, making her more than just a one-dimensional villain. The role of the kind-hearted servant, Ram Dass, was played by Cesar Romero. Initially, the filmmakers had considered an Indian actor for the part, but they ultimately decided that Romero's charm and warmth would be a better fit for the character. One of the most memorable performances in the movie comes from Arthur Treacher, who plays the role of Captain Cruz valet, Mr. Barrow. Treacher's dry wit and understated delivery provided a perfect counterpoint to Temple's exuberance. The casting of the movie was not without its challenges. However, initially, the filmmakers had considered casting a well-known child star in the role of Becky, Sarah's friend and fellow servant. However, they ultimately decided to cast a relative newcomer, Anita Louise, in the part. Louise's natural charm and vulnerability won over the filmmakers, and she brought a sense of warmth and humanity to the character. In the end, the casting of the movie was a testament to the filmmakers' ability to see beyond type and find the perfect actor for each role. The result was a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences to this day. Walter Lang, the director of the 1939 movie, approached the little princess with a vision to create a timeless tale of childhood innocence and resilience. Known for his keen eye for detail, Lang aimed to bring out the emotional depth of the story through his creative influences and unique style. Drawing inspiration from classic children's literature, Lang sought to maintain the whimsical spirit of the source material while adding visual elements that would captivate audiences. He collaborated closely with the film's art directors, Weird Einen and William Starling, to create elaborate sets that reflected the movie's Victorian London setting. Lang's attention to detail extended to costume, props, and even the smallest of stage elements, ensuring a cohesive and immersive visual experience. In terms of style, Lang favored long takes and fluid camera movements to capture the actor's performances and the set designs. He believed in allowing scenes to unfold naturally, often eschewing quick cuts and editing in favor of a more deliberate pacing. This approach lent the little princess a sense of elegance and grace, enhancing the story's emotional resonance. To bring out the best in his cast, Lang fostered a collaborative and supportive working environment. He encouraged actors to explore their characters' motivations and emotions, resulting in nuanced and heartfelt performances. Shirley Temple, who played the lead role, later recalled her experiences working with Lang as positive and inspiring, crediting him with helping her develop her acting skills. Lang's collaborative spirit extended to the film's crew as well. He worked closely with cinematographer Arthur C. Miller to achieve the movie's soft, dreamlike visual aesthetic. Lang and Miller experimented with lighting and camera angles to create a visual language that complemented the story's emotional arc. The Little Princess also featured a memorable score by composers Charles Maxwell and Herbert Stothart. Lang recognized the importance of music in storytelling and worked closely with the composers to ensure that the score supported the movie's narrative and emotional beats. In summary, Walter Lang's directorial vision for The Little Princess was characterized by his attention to detail, collaboration with cast and crew, and commitment to maintaining the spirit of the source material. Through his unique style and creative influences, Lang brought the story to life in a way that continues to captivate audiences today. I will do it. I will. I'll... The Little Princess is a 1939 movie that has touched the hearts of many. I still remember the first time I watched it, and it has since become one of my favorites. The movie has inspired and impacted my life in many ways. It has taught me about resilience, kindness, and the power of imagination. The Little Princess features some of Hollywood's most iconic actors, including Shirley Temple, who plays the lead role. I have always admired her talent and charisma. She brings so much life and energy to the screen, making it impossible not to fall in love with her character. 
The movie is full of surprises, from funny moments to shocking twists and heartbreaking scenes. It's a roller coaster of emotions that keeps you engaged from beginning to end. Do you have a favorite actor or a most cherished memory related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. As we journey through the movie, we'll uncover some fascinating facts about the production, the actors, and the impact it had on audiences at the time. From behind-the-scenes secrets to little-known trivia, there's so much to discover about this classic film. So, stay tuned and keep watching to learn more about this beloved movie and its enduring legacy. The Little Princess is a timeless tale that continues to captivate audiences of all ages. And there's so much more to explore beyond the surface. So, let's dive in and uncover the magic of this classic film together. In the late 1930s, the movie industry was abuzz with the production of a heartwarming film, The Little Princess. The set design for this movie was a marvel in itself. The story called for a stark contrast between the luxurious Royal English Academy and the rundown attic room where Sarah, the protagonist, was made to live. The set designers left no stone unturned to create these contrasting environments. The Royal English Academy was adorned with opulent furniture, rich tapestries, and ornate chandeliers, reflecting the grandeur of the Victorian era. On the other hand, Sarah's attic room was designed to appear drab and dingy, enhancing the pathos of her situation. The filming locations were another highlight of the production. While most of the movie was shot in the studio, the crew ventured out to film some exterior scenes at the beautiful Balboa Park in San Diego, California. The park's lush gardens and grand architecture provided a perfect backdrop for the movie's outdoor sequences. However, filming The Little Princess was not without its share of logistical challenges. The film required a large number of child actors, which posed unique difficulties. Child labor laws were strict, and the crew had to ensure that the children's working hours were not exceeded. Moreover, Working with children often meant dealing with tantrums and mood swings, which added to the production's challenges. Despite these hurdles, the crew employed innovative techniques to enhance the movie's visual appeal. They used Technicolor, a then-new color film process, to add vibrancy to the scenes. The process involved shooting the scenes through special filters and then printing them in color, resulting in a more vivid and lifelike image. This innovation was a significant departure from the black and white films that were prevalent at the time and added a new dimension to the movie watching experience. In addition, the movie made innovative use of matte paintings to create the illusion of grand sets. Matte paintings are realistic paintings on glass panels or boards that are combined with live action footage to create a composite image. This technique allowed the crew to create expansive sets, such as the Royal English Academy, without physically building them. In conclusion, the production of The Little Princess was a significant undertaking, marked by meticulous set design, strategic location choices, and innovative filming techniques. The crew's efforts resulted in a visually stunning movie that continues to captivate audiences to this day. Out for an hour, but we must go in. Sorry, sir, you can stand over there if that's all right. The film, based on Frances Hodgson Burnett's novel, tells the story of a young girl named Sarah Crew, set in 19th century England. The movie follows Sarah's journey from a life of privilege to one of hardship. Shirley Temple, who was born in 1928, delivers a remarkable performance as Sarah, showcasing her acting skills and versatility at a young age. As the story unfolds, Sarah's father, a wealthy military captain, sends her to an exclusive boarding school while he goes off to fight in the Second Boer War. The headmistress of the school, Miss Minchin, treats Sarah with kindness at first. But her attitude changes when she learns that Sarah's father has died in combat, leaving Sarah penniless. Despite the challenges she faces, Sarah remains optimistic and kind, drawing on her imagination and love of stories to cope with her difficult circumstances. She befriends a young servant girl named Becky and stands up for her when she is mistreated by Miss Minchin. As the movie progresses, Sarah's fortunes take a turn for the better when a mysterious benefactor helps her regain her rightful place in society. However, she never forgets the lessons she learned during her time of hardship and continues to show kindness and compassion to those around her. The Little Princess is a timeless tale of resilience, kindness, and the power of the imagination. Shirley Temple's performance is a true testament to her talent and versatility as an actress, and the movie's themes continue to resonate with audiences today. Perhaps I'll find my father this time and he'll take us away from here. Oh, Lord! It's... The Little Princess, a 1939 movie, 
is a remarkable example of how music can enhance a film's narrative and emotional tone. The score was composed by Herbert Stothart, a veteran in the industry known for his work on films like Ben-Hur and The Wizard of Oz. Stothart's compositions for The Little Princess were designed to mirror the character's journey. For instance, when Sarah, the protagonist, is wealthy and happy, the music is light and cheerful. However, when she faces hardship and poverty, the score becomes more somber and melancholic. This clever use of music allows viewers to deeply connect with Sarah's emotional state. The soundtrack also featured several popular songs of the time, including Waltz of the Flowers from Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Suite. These additions not only gave the film a touch of realism, but also helped to create an enchanting atmosphere that appealed to audiences. Interestingly, Stothart used a full symphony orchestra to create the score, which was quite unusual for the time. This decision added depth and richness to the music, making it more engaging and memorable. According to Shirley Temple, who played Sarah, Herbert Stothart's music was an integral part of the film It added emotion and drama, making each scene more powerful. His work on The Little Princess indeed left an indelible mark on film history, showcasing the significant role music plays in storytelling. In conclusion, through Stothart's thoughtful and innovative compositions, the music in The Little Princess became an essential component of the narrative, underscoring the emotional highs and lows experienced by the characters. Where's your family pride, boy? Well, so one must eat, and family pride is a pretty thin diet. Oh, blackmail, eh? You... In the world of classic films, there are always interesting stories about the actors and actresses that brought them to life. For instance, Sybil Jason, who acted in the movie, has a son-in-law who produced The Price is Right in 1972. Shirley Temple, another renowned actress, was considered for the role of Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz, but didn't get the part due to her studio refusing to lend her or MGM considering her singing limitations insurmountable. Shirley Temple also auditioned twice for Our Gang or The Little Rascals. She failed the first audition and made the second while appearing in the Baby Burlesque series. However, she didn't get in because the director, Robert F. McGowan, refused to agree to Shirley's mother's request that Shirley receive star billing with our gang. These stories show the behind-the-scenes challenges that actors and actresses faced in the early days of filmmaking. Despite these challenges, they persevered and created iconic performances that continue to resonate with audiences today. Are we all ready? Hello, Jeffrey. The two most... One of the most iconic scenes in the movie is when Sarah, played by Shirley Temple, discovers that she is no longer considered a princess due to her father's death and the financial troubles that followed. This scene is a powerful display of emotion, with Temple's performance leaving a lasting impact on audiences. Director Walter Lang masterfully captures Sarah's devastation as she realizes the reality of her situation. The use of close-up shots allows the audience to fully grasp Sarah's feelings of shock, sadness, and despair. Cinematographer Charles Rosher employs a muted color palette, reflecting Sarah's bleak circumstances. Temple's performance in this scene is heart-wrenching. In her autobiography, she recalls the emotional intensity of filming this particular moment, I cried for real, I couldn't help it. My emotions just took over. This scene has a profound impact on the audience, as it highlights the harsh realities of poverty and the loss of privilege. It serves as a stark contrast to the film's earlier more light-hearted scenes, further emphasizing Sarah's fall from grace. Another iconic scene occurs when Sarah befriends a group of soldiers and decides to throw a lavish party for them using the few resources she has left. This act of kindness and generosity showcases Sarah's resilience and selflessness despite her own misfortunes. The scene is beautifully filmed with warm, inviting lighting and a lively atmosphere. Sarah's joy and excitement are palpable and her ability to bring happiness to others in the face of adversity leaves a lasting impression on the audience. Director Lang explained his approach to this scene, stating, We wanted to show that even in the darkest of times, there's always room for kindness and joy. This sentiment is reflected in Sarah's actions, as well as in the performances of the soldiers, who exude gratitude and camaraderie. These iconic scenes from the movie not only demonstrate the film's high production values and talented cast, but also provide a powerful commentary on the human spirit, resilience, and the importance of empathy and kindness. Sarah, thank you for the handkerchiefs. They're lovely. Don't you think it's time to cut the cake? Oh yes, the cake. <laughs> In the 1939 movie, a variety of actors delivered notable performances and had significant careers beyond their roles. For instance, Arthur Treacher, who played the part of the kind-hearted butler, 
later became the spokesman for Arthur Treacher's Fish and Chips, a restaurant chain with over 500 locations in the United States. Shirley Temple, the young star who portrayed the movie's protagonist, received an offer to guest voice as Vicki Valentine, a dance instructor in the Simpsons episode The Last Tap Dance in Springfield. The character was based on Shirley's own experiences as a prominent child star in musical films of the 1930s and 1940s. However, she declined the offer. Moreover, Holmes Herbert, who played the role of the school's headmaster, appeared in three films selected for the National Film Registry by the Library of Congress. These films include The Invisible Man, The Life of Emile Zola, and The Adventures of Robin Hood. His acting career spanned over four decades, and he left a lasting impact on the film industry. The 1939 movie, popularly known as The Little Princess, made a significant impact on both culture and society. The film resonated with audiences due to its strong narrative and compelling performances, particularly from Shirley Temple. It presented a heartwarming story of a young girl's resilience in the face of adversity, which struck a chord with viewers during the Great Depression era. This movie influenced pop culture in various ways. For instance, it reinforced the image of Shirley Temple as a symbol of innocence and optimism, further solidifying her status as a beloved child star. The film's costumes and sets, showcasing Victorian England, also left an imprint on fashion and design trends of the time. Moreover, the movie contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. It explored the concept of childhood and the struggle between innocence and maturity. The protagonist, Sarah Crewe, was depicted as a strong-willed character who challenged societal norms and expectations for young girls. This portrayal inspired young audiences and offered a fresh perspective on gender roles. In addition, the movie addressed issues of social class and wealth distribution. Sarah's journey from privilege to poverty and back again served as a critique of the stark contrast between the rich and the poor during this period. The film encouraged viewers to empathize with those less fortunate and to question the existing social hierarchy. Overall, The Little Princess left a lasting impact on both culture and society, influencing pop culture trends, sparking conversations on social issues, and resonating with audiences through its powerful storytelling and memorable performances. Now will you tell me what it's all about? What has happened, Miss Lynch? Whatever it is, you might have little... In 1939, the movie, based on the novel Sarah Crewe, or What Happened at Miss Minchin's by Frances Hodgson Burnett, was released. The novel had been initially published in 1888, but Burnett adapted it for the stage in 1902 and 1903, calling it A Little Princess in London and The Little Princess in New York. The play was successful, leading Burnett's publisher, C. Scribner's Sons, to request an expansion of the original novel to include scenes from the play. The final novel, The Little Princess, being the whole story of Sarah Crewe, was published in 1905 and served as the secondary source for the 1939 movie. Interestingly, Beryl Mercer played Queen Victoria in two films released in 1939, including this movie. Mercer's portrayal of Queen Victoria was a small but notable aspect of the film. Moreover, Shirley Temple, who starred in the movie, had a fascinating personal connection to the world of rock music. Her daughter, Lorax, was the bass player for the rock band The Melvins. Overall, the 1939 movie was an adaptation of a beloved novel, featuring notable actors and a fascinating personal connection to the world of rock music. <laughs> Darling, I'm so sorry. Upon its release in 1939, the movie was met with widespread acclaim. Noted film critic Frank Snugent of the New York Times praised the film, describing it as a picture to cherish for its understanding of the heart of a child. The critic commended the movie's director, Walter Lang, for his touching and imaginative adaptation of Frances Hodgson Burnett's novel. The film's young star, Shirley Temple, received significant accolades for her performance. The New York Times critic noted that Temple's portrayal of the main character was delightful and that she displays a maturity of artistry far beyond her years. The critic also highlighted the film's supporting cast, including actors Richard Green and Anita Louise, for their excellent performances. The Little Princess received two Academy Award nominations, including Best Original Score for Composers Walter Bullock and Bruno Bertoli, and Best Art Direction for Ward Ayanen and Thomas Little. While the film did not win in either category, the nominations themselves were a testament to the movie's high production values and artistic merit. 
The critical reception and awards nominations for the movie were significant for those involved in its production. For director Walter Lang, the positive reviews and accolades helped to establish him as a talented filmmaker and paved the way for future success. For Shirley Temple, the film's success further cemented her status as one of Hollywood's most promising young stars. The Little Princess's enduring popularity and critical acclaim are a testament to the movie's timeless appeal. The film's themes of resilience, imagination, and the power of kindness continue to resonate with audiences today, making it a beloved classic of children's cinema. Let's try this one on you! <laughs> <laughs> In this 1939 film, Shirley Temple dazzles in a seven-piece riding outfit that has survived the test of time. The outfit was sold at Heritage Auctions in November 2021 for an impressive 6875 Shirley Temple's talent was recognized by the American Film Institute, who named her number 18 actress in their list of 50 greatest screen legends. Richard Green, another actor in the film, was set to star in an adaptation of The Blue Lagoon with Gainsborough Productions in 20th Century Fox. However, the project was never realized due to the outbreak of World War II. Green's potential role in the abandoned project showcases the diverse opportunities available to actors in the film industry during that time. <laughs> Sorry, sir. It's time for the patient's drops. Oh, I'd rather face that mule. <laughs> during the filming of the 1939 movie, Shirley Temple, then only nine years old, faced a challenging scene. She had to descend down a long flight of stairs, crying desperately. The emotional turmoil was real for Shirley as she missed her mother dearly. Director Walter Lang astutely used this emotion, capturing an incredibly authentic scene. In another instance, the film set was a marvel in itself. A full-scale replica of a Victorian-era London street was constructed on the studio lot. This meticulously detailed set, complete with cobblestone streets and gaslit lamps, provided an immersive environment for the cast and crew, enhancing their performances. Behind the scene, costume designer Walter Plunkett left no stone unturned. He conducted extensive research on Victorian fashion, ensuring every garment worn in the movie was historically accurate. For instance, he sourced authentic lace from France, and even aged the costumes to reflect their characters' socioeconomic statuses. Despite the film's success, it wasn't without its share of mishaps. During the iconic scene where Sarah discovers a locked door, a mischievous monkey from the set decided to join the act. Unscripted, the monkey scampered onto the set and began playing with the door's knob, much to everyone's surprise. The spontaneous moment made it into the final cut, adding a touch of humor to the otherwise tense scene. Attention men! Attention! Official inspection! In the 1939 film, Shirley Temple's on-screen companion was no ordinary lion. Clarence, known for his sweet temperament and gorgeous golden mane, was dubbed the Shirley Temple of the lion world. Cesar Romero, who played the movie's antagonist, had a familial connection to a Cuban revolutionary hero. His maternal grandparents were exiled Cubans Carmen and Manuel Mantilla. It is generally believed that their daughter, Maria Mantilla Romero's mother, was the daughter of Cuban poet and revolutionary hero Jose Marti, who wrote the verse used in Guantanamo. Marsha Mee Jones, who played one of the supporting roles, was the daughter of actress and persistent stage mother Frida Jones. She also had siblings named Margaret, Marvin, and Macon. Marsha faced personal and emotional challenges later in life, which led to a severe alcohol problem. However, she later received a degree in religious science and overcame her dependency. Yes. Yes. Sir. The Little Princess, a 1939 movie, holds a significant place in film history. Directed by Walter Lang, this show was an adaptation of Frances Hodgson Burnett's novel. The film is notable for its young star Shirley Temple, who was already a well-established name in the industry. The movie's influence on future filmmaking is evident in the way it handles themes like childhood, resilience, and friendship. It presented a young female protagonist who, despite facing adversity, maintains her dignity and kindness. This portrayal was a departure from the stereotypical roles for children in films of that era. The Little Princess has inspired several subsequent works in cinema and literature. For instance, the theme of a young girl's resilience in the face of hardship has been revisited in many productions. The movie also sparked interest in adaptations of Burnett's other works, such as The Secret Garden. In terms of cinematography, The Little Princess introduced innovative techniques that have since become standard in the industry. The film's use of elaborate sets and costumes, combined with its compelling narrative, created a visual spectacle that was quite unique for its time. 
Furthermore, the movie's impact extends to the realm of storytelling. It demonstrated the power of a well-told story to captivate audiences and leave a lasting impression. The Little Princess is a testament to the enduring appeal of tales that combine adventure, emotion, and moral lessons. In essence, The Little Princess, through its innovative storytelling and strong female lead, has left an indelible mark on the world of film. Its influence can be seen in many subsequent productions, making it a vital part of film history. Your places. Good morning. Ah, oh, good morning, Sarah. Good morning. In the film, Shirley Temple, known as America's Sweetheart, takes on a role that was originally played by Mary Pickford in the silent film era. The movie is a remake of A Little Princess from 1917, and Temple's image was heavily influenced by Pickford's nicknames and persona. One notable actor in the film is Holmes Herbert, who had previously appeared in the 1931 film version of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and the 1951 film The Son of Dr. Jekyll, although he received no screen credit in the latter. In Little Miss Broadway, Shirley Temple and Jimmy Durante performed a song and dance number called Hop, Skip, Jump, and Slide, but it was cut from the final film due to its length. Overall, the film is a part of the long line of remakes and reimaginings of classic silent films, with Shirley Temple carrying on the legacy of Mary Pickford. Darling, you mustn't cry. I'm sure you'll be all right. Did you know that the 1939 movie The Little Princess touched the hearts of many, even decades after its release? We'd love to hear about your personal experiences and memories related to this timeless film. How did the movie impact you personally? Did it influence your perspective on cinema or inspire you in any way? Share your stories with us and other viewers. Your insights could spark meaningful conversations and connections. If you were moved by the film's portrayal of resilience and kindness, or if you simply enjoyed the enchanting storyline, we'd love to hear from you. Your engagement through likes, shares, and subscriptions will help us explore more cinematic treasures together. So, don't be shy. Let's reminisce about this classic movie and the emotions it evoked. Tell us about the first time you watched the show, or how it has stayed with you all these years. We can't wait to hear your thoughts. You won't be afraid as I was. I was afraid of the noise. <laughs>